Courts have called proximate cause, quote, the last negligent act contributing to an injury and without which the injury wouldn't have happened, unquote. This definition recognizes that an event can have many causes, but the law holds accountable only the person whose behavior was most culpable in causing harm. The West Virginia Supreme Court of Appeals considered whether someone else's subsequent bad behavior could have superseded a defendant's negligence as the proximate cause of a serious accident in Marcus v. Stobbs. 14-year-old Samantha Stobbs and her friend Kelly called Jonathan Marcus and asked him for a ride to meet some friends, including Samantha's 13-year-old sister, Jessica. Marcus, who was 18 at the time, picked Kelly and Samantha up in his truck. Stephen Woodward, 26, was in the truck with Marcus. After picking up Samantha and Kelly, Marcus drove to a convenience store to buy alcohol. When the group arrived at the store, Samantha gave Woodward some money, and he went inside and bought malt liquor. Leaving the store, Marcus drove Kelly and Samantha to meet Jessica and Misty, another friend, at Adrian's house. Kelly and Samantha had the bag containing the malt liquor Woodward had bought. The group began drinking, and at some point, Marcus and Woodward left. Later, when the girls needed to leave, they tried unsuccessfully to find a ride. Misty and Samantha stole a neighbor's car and collected Kelly and Jessica. Misty drove and Samantha rode shotgun without a seatbelt. Minutes after leaving Adrian's, the car crashed into an embankment. Samantha was killed and Jessica was injured. Lorianne Stobbs, Samantha and Jessica's mother, sued Marcus for negligence. The trial court granted summary judgment for Stobbs, and Marcus appealed to the West Virginia Supreme Court of Appeals.